Oh, hi. Listen, sir. Everyone's all right. How are you? All right. Yeah, good. Thanks. How are you all? Yeah, very well. I'm good again. Oh, just in a, just a half an hour session with uh, the, uh, the other group was my brother and Sian Janine. Ah, okay. It's a little bit of an overlap, but uh, yeah, sure. I'll just try and do a bit of a warm up as well. It's hi, Sian Jeff. How are you doing? Hi James. Hi Sensei. Hi Jay. How are you? Good, good. Yourselves? Yeah, good, thank you. Yeah, good. Us, Bernardo, I thought you were going to go gearless then. Us, sorry about that. I just finished a quick little workout. That's okay. Showing off from guns. <laughs> How are you, Sensei? Good, thank you. Yourself? Bad. Trying to keep the sanity while everything, uh, there's chaos everywhere. In Montreal, they had riots last night. Oh, duh. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know what's going on in North America, but uh, there was a senseless killing of a... Uh, a young black man by a policeman in uh, in uh, Mississippi. Uh, no, yeah. and uh, sorry, in Minneapolis, and oh. that sparked uh, riots all over North America. Crazy. There's Crazy, looting in the yeah. streets uh, downtown. It's 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 getting really challenging. Well, that, so, uh, on top of the COVID, we got to deal with that. Got to deal with that, yeah last thing you need yeah so they they allowed people to do these demonstrations and uh of course the troublemakers are going to use that as a an excuse to to loot and to riot yeah very sad state of affairs but you guys don't uh, you you didn't hear about that you guys didn't hear yeah, about that it's all over the news yeah did, did you guys hear that yeah i've heard about it yeah no, nothing nothing like that happening out there Nothing like happening here, now we've heard about it on the oh, news. That's good. You guys are lucky then, that's great. And this is in Montreal? Uh, well, it originated in uh, Minneapolis in, in the USA, and uh, they have this movement uh, oh. that's called uh, Black Lives Matter. And so when a policeman get out of hand and they, you know, and, and in this case here was, I don't know if you saw it on the news, but it was really 
uncalled mm -hmm. for. He had the, the young man uh, so, in handcuffs on his stomach and he had his knee on the back of his neck for like six minutes. So the guy died. He is asphyxiation. He, he died. So they were in the process of charging the policemen, but the, they, they just went nuts down there. And it's been spilling over Toronto, Montreal. Uh, we're going to start getting like the bigger cities in Canada. There's a, uh, it's kind of linked, even though we're not, we have different governments. A lot of what happens politically in the States, we kind of feel it a lot down here. So it's, uh, it's sad, really sad. If you see that, and the thing is with CNN, I don't know if you guys watch CNN in, in the States, they kind of love that sensationalism. It makes things, you know, it sells. So it's, uh, it's a scary time. I'm glad you, you guys seem to be getting back to normal in the UK though, right? Sort of, uh, yeah, safe. Yeah, yeah, beginning to. That's great. It's fun to see a lot more people out on the road. Mm. And did you guys get any news on the dojos when you guys are able to open the dojo? Uh, not, not as far as I'm aware. Um, I, I emailed our dojo place today, actually, asking if they've got any plans. Just let us know ASAP. But I think on the latest, there's like a group of six people now you can hang out with. Yeah, us too. Outdoors only, though. Yeah, outdoors only, yeah. Well, outdoors only, and we have to keep that two meters. My wife's last not big enough to have six people, so I'm quite safe. <laughs> you guys doing your uh, belt evaluations? Are you guys going to be able to do that, or are you going to skip it for this session? Sorry? Are you going to be able to do your belt evaluations this session, or are you going to have to skip it? Uh, it depends really how people have been training, I suppose. I mean, some people okay. could be like focusing on drag grading works, like right. one on one with their instructors. Uh, right. But I think, again, it's just going to be the general consensus how people feel before going through it. I mean, obviously, one on one works online, but one on one yeah. in person is a little bit different. I, I, I don't think, um, I mean, from my dojo wise, I've got two or three people that want to grade. But right. with everything that's gone on, they've not really been able to put the time in. Yeah, get that sort of tuition. I think so. What's she hand, Jeff? I just saw you. Yeah. Right, let's uh, we'll make a start, and obviously, if anybody else is joining in, uh, I'll hopefully let them in. So, one, two, three, four, so we've got about 15, 15, 13 people. That's good. Okay. All right, good evening. Thanks for coming. Us. Just going to loosen up, um, just warm up a little bit just for now on, on the legs and the hips. What you want to do, lift up with the heels up, rotate to the side and pull down. But it's nice and controlled. Then come up to about belt height, move to the side. Try to keep the hips forward, forward so you're trying to open up your hips and then just drop down to the side. And just do eight on the right leg. You want to keep your hands on your hips and make sure that your pelvis is staying sort of stable rather than trying to turn around too much. Try to keep that so you're trying to get as much rotation in the joint as possible. And on the left side, eight times. you come up on the outside, lift the side of your body and come as far across as you can. So you're coming out from the top perpendicular to your body and you want to come right across your body as far as you can. Feel that stretch of your long feet.
then I'll think about it then. I'm up there. Okay, so from now, what you try and do from here, just nice simple lunges, left leg forward. As you pull back, bring your knee up and then back down. So you go into a lunge position, pull up, control your knee back up and then down. Just go five times on the left side. Each knee. Sand. Go. On the right side, forward. Itch. Me. Sun. She. Go. Okay, so you face the front. Sound nice and simple, just warming up still. Warming up the hip sockets, what you need to try and do. Come slowly down into a deep squat. If you're squatting over the toilet, if you're in a uh, European in, uh, Western country. And as you come up, easy going. Explode up. So it's down slowly and explode up. So you go five on the right side and five on the left side. So one side at a time only. So go down from the count of three. One, two, Three, explode. Okay, down again. Itch, me, sun. Itch, me, sun. Itch, me, sun. That's the on this side. Itch, me, sun. On the left side, down to three. Itch, me, sun. And up. Itch, Knee, sun, and up. Itch, knee, sun, and up. Itch, knee, sun, and last one. Itch, knee, sun. Good. A good thing for this exercise is when you're down, when you're already in the squat position, your knee is already close to your shoulder. If you can keep your leg in that same position and drive up on the one side, it's a good exercise for the single leg, single glutes. If you're doing it at the same time, it works both the glutes. There's a lot of variation on the exercise you can do. Try to keep that knee close and push it with one leg or two legs and then explode. A couple of variations on that exercise you can work on. Okay, so this time I'm going to stretch across. Just from here, you can see my legs a little bit. What I'm going to try and do is take your right leg and stretch it as far back like a very long hackadat, but don't twist your hips. Try to keep your hips in front and stretch your leg through. Hold it for one, two, and then up. Take your right leg again across. Hold two, two, and then back up. Two, three more times. You can't feel the stretch, it might be because your hips are still not square or you're not stressing the floor back enough. And one more, go. Okay, left leg back, itch. Knee. Stand. Go. Okay, so the next five we're going to do similar exercises. If you can just try to see them up on the floor. The first one, we're we'll going straight back, lunge. And then the last one is going to be as far to my left as possible. So you need to work at the top. So you've gone straight back. Then you go an hour, and another hour, and another hour. Okay? But each time you go back, stretch back straight, then that slight angle, slight angle, four, and five is the furthest you can get to. Okay? So we'll do one set on the left, one set on the right, and then repeat that again. 
so we can just make sure we're stretching out our legs. Any questions? Do you understand? Okay. Just going to right leg first, straight back. Itch. Crop. Sun. She. And go. Left leg. Itch. Knee. Sam. She. And go. One more each side again. Itch. Knee. Sam. She. And go. And on the last left side. Itch. Knee. Sam, she, and go. Okay, let leg loose. Just moving up from waist above now. So what we're trying to do, keep your feet parallel with one another. It's not in, like a food that's what it's like explained. Uh, keep feet parallel with one another. What you're trying to do again is reach round the back with your opposite hand. Okay? Try to keep your feet planted in that same position. Try to keep your hips locked. And just sweep around as far as you can with your right hand. If you want to keep your hands parallel with the floor, just rotate around. When you get far enough, then straighten your arm. As if you're trying to point backwards. Just hopefully you can see me there. I've gone around so far on my torso. Mm -hmm. I then want to extend my arm. So the idea is you're rotating your lower part first, and then you rotate the top part rather than what a lot of people do is rotate the top part first and then they forget about the bottom. Okay, helps with the core development and helps with your flexibility, okay? So just do five on the left and five on the right. Left hand first, so we swing around to your right. Itch. Knee. Fast. She. Go. And to the left. Itch. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Take the heart loose. Switch over to your left or to your right, sorry. Just stretch the side of the body. It's like your fingers straight to push forward. Try to turn your hands so you're actually still pushing with a shot aim with your hands. Push it up. Stretch back to the left. Go back up to center. Stretch back. And to the right. Okay, just lean forward, just drop your arms, relax. Okay, let your head on the spine. Okay, shall I? Everybody okay? Good, right. So from there, just take the right leg back into the length so that's you get them right. Yoy. Right, so, okay, what you're going to try and do, just to get the warming up still, but it's a technical as well for a while, um, you're going to be working quite a lot of gyaku and blocks. Because obviously when you punch gyaku ski, your shoulders are still square and it's stuck. Okay? So when you block gyaku ski, you still got to angle your shoulders. Okay, so you can see from your stance position that your, your shoulders are square, but your hips are obviously at this angle. So when you come into doing a block like Uchiyuki, your shoulders should be 45 degrees into the block, like we do uh, standing in Yoidachi or Budadachi. A lot of people just tend to block and the shoulders are square. So what we're just going to try and do, just for a while, uh, we're going to do an Oiski, which is shoulders are square, and underneath, take the arm through, watch Uchiyuki. Okay, so from there, Oiski Chudan, 
underneath and block. Okay. And then from there, Oiski two down, underneath and block. Okay, we're just going to go 10 on my count. One count is a punch, second count is a block. So it's just five punches and five blocks on the left and the right. Okay, so first one is a block. So H, Nick, Sun, Shi, Go, Brook, Shish, Hatch, Ke, Je. Change legs. This time you're punching Oiski with the right. Uh, blocking your cheeky, your shoulder turn. Make sure you're trying to get that shoulder turning in. The whole point of the exercise is trying to get it in, similar to what we've just done there, turning your body and reach that little bit more. Oiski comes in, shoulders end up becoming sort of parallel at this point, and you've got to block and turn your shoulders in, okay? Let's go. Itch, knee, sun, shi, go, rook, shish. Hatch, ke, je. Okay. Also, an RA chains legs. Be mindful of your knee as well. In Zen Kusadachi, if you're blocking Gekko, a lot of people tend to turn the knee in or out. Just trying to make sure that's fixed and you are just turning from like towards there or above. Okay. Doing something similar now, just exercising the upper body so this did. So this time we're going to be coming through Sotouki. So now you are coming in across the body this way. And then we're doing oiski, yakuski, oiski. Three punches and a soft oiski. Okay, so we just want some nice, try punches. I'm on that oiski block. Okay, now yes, it's a block. Okay, we all know soft oiski is a block, but it can be a strike. Okay, you know, if somebody, if you, your hands are damaged and you want to sort of like block somebody but cause them damage. You know, it can be called as a strike as well. So think of it both not only as a block and a break, but it's also a strike. Okay, sir? Of course. Let's go. Three punches. Oiski. No. Itch, knee, sand, she. And again. Itch, knee, sand, she. Itch, knee, sand, she. Itch, knee, sand, she. And one more. Itch, knee, sand, she. Okay, change legs. Okay, so we go. We're going for right leg first, right hand first, three punches. Itch, knee, sun, she. Itch, knee, sun, she. Itch, knee, sun, she. Itch, knee, sun, she. And last one. Itch, knee, sun, she. Okay, and Larry, chips with loose. Okay, so we've done that in Zen Kusadachi. Okay, nice uh, um, long stance, nice and strong here. Obviously, you can do it in Kusadachi, and again in Kusadachi, what we'll do, we'll have a go at it now. Make sure you don't wobble in the stance. You can, hopefully, you can see my knee wobbling a lot. What happens is when people are strong, striking so hard, their legs start moving and they start blocking like this or blocking outside, okay? So we'll just do the one set like we've just done, three punches in the Sotsuki, but we'll do it in Kukusadachi. Gives you an idea of how we can sort of adapt different exercises. Let's take forward, left leg forward in Kukusu. Shoot on the ski, out. Uh, let's go, right, sorry, right hand first, so we're punching with left hand first, okay, ready? H, knee, san, shi. <laughs> Itch, knee, sun, she. Itch, knee, sun, she. Itch, knee, sun, she. Itch, knee, sun, she. Uh, change legs. So hopefully you've all sort of picked out, even in Kukusadachi, if you're coming in really strong with that soto, your leg starts wanting to follow. So if you're trying to keep that nice and strong, your stance should be like foundation, shouldn't move. So from that point there is what you twist, okay? So right leg forward, left hand out, and the gap here, let's go three punches and block. Itch, knee, sun, she. 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 
Okay, uh, no. Okay, let's go down and do some exercises. Try to uh, hopefully be able to see what I'm going to do now. Okay, so just flatten the hands or this is to you. What we're trying to do is chop the floor in opposite direction and then swing out to vertical position and then back. Touch across, swing and back. Okay. When you pull your hand through, think of it like a high shoe. Think of coming from here, elbow first, and finishing in at the back, straight through with the body. So I'm in this position, I've stretched through, I've come in, and I've stretched right out. Okay, so stretching across, and treat this as an exercise. Get that strike to go out, because it will help you try to get your balance on your push-up as well, again. Start to work in the core, your muscles, your stability, um, and so on and so forth. Okay, does everybody understand? Us, let's go. Just do five and fives, five on the left side first. Okay, so the left hand does the movement first. Okay, ready? Inch, and down. Knee, and down. Sat, and down. Sheep. Go. And change hands. Rest right side now. Itch. Knee. Sir. Sheep. Go. And down. Okay. Change those moves. Grab a quick drink. Um, and roll back. Cool. Okay. So, we do work a little bit on sort of positioning on stances and manoeuvring side to side, which again we're not always used to. So, this is going to be off balance and stuff like that's fine. I even go off balance. What we're trying to do here, think about again, nice stability in Zenkutsu, we're starting Zenkutsu. What we're going to do, He's a Gary and fall into Kibadashi. Okay, from there, the right leg back up again. Get him, wash your Gary, come into my Kibadashi. Make sense? Okay, so from here, you drop back in, into Zenko Sadachi. Shoo. So from here, right leg up, he's a Gary, and into my Kibadashi. From there, get him, wash your Gary. And back into Kibarashi. Okay. And from there, step across into Zenkutsu. So the count's going to be itch, down, knee, down, and sand into Zenkutsu. Okay. So think about from here, don't just turn into Zenkutsu. Just because you're not striking, doesn't mean your stance is not going to be strong. Uh, not doesn't have to be strong. Okay, so think of that when you're coming in, that you are driving a gekka ski out. I don't want the gekka ski that you put too much emphasis on the punch and not enough on the stats. Okay, so again, it's quite a little bit of maneuverability on the hip to fall into place, turn through and back. If you're being more to go around this way, you end up losing balance. Kick knee first, back. Knee back, keep it close to your body, and then land. Have we understand? Good. I don't know if you're all on mute or not, but uh, I'm not sure one person is on mute. Anyway, okay. So to my count, one count, he's a Gary in there, second count, the watch is going back, third count, then comes through. Okay, everybody ready? So, H, knee, Sam. H, knee, sat, H, knee, sat, four, H, knee, sat, and that's one, H, knee. 
and change legs. Hopefully you feel sort of like your joints and your quads and quads, your glutes getting a little bit warm. If they're not already. <laughs> so please do a nice, nice long deep kibidachis and then the twisting at the end. Okay, so again, do slowly. He's a Gary out. Get up more shigeri, back, and step across and twist. Okay, let's go. One count, one movement, five times. Ready? Itch. Knee. Stand. Itch. Knee. Stand. Itch. Knee. Stand. Itch. Knee. Stand. And last time. Itch. Knee. Stand. And nine. Okay, everybody okay? Right, now we're going to try and reverse it. Okay? We're going to start in. Then to that We're going to come in. Driving, keep it actually, right. And then we're going to kick, get our motor going to the front. So you've got to now think about twisting your body all the way through and out this way. Okay? Piece of Gary and then back. And we're done. Okay. Uh, so we'll go back in, left leg in front, right leg back. So the count will be. Itch for that, knee for the washi and down, stand, and back. Okay, ready. Position there, that's long. So. Itch, knee, stand, itch, knee, stand. Itch, knee, sun, itch, knee, oh, sun, and last one, itch, knee, sun, and hand tight. Don't go, let's go straight into it. Left leg moves first. Itch. Knee. Stand. Itch. Knee. Stand. Itch. Knee. Stand. Knee, sun, and the last one, itch, knee, sun, and up, nice. So this exercise hopefully has helped you realise, kicking my washi going together, to the Lord Jordan, you can see my feet, yes you're in fine position there, so you're already a little bit beyond your centre line. Or people still kick without that back leg rotated. Yeah. As soon as that back leg rotates more, not only you get more power and drive, you get extra reach. Okay, so if I'm kicking here and I'm not twisting, no matter how long I stretch, I can't do it. As soon as I twist, you get that extra reach. So the exercise here basically starts you from a very, very long position. And you need to turn your foot, which is turning uh, east to west, all the way through to the other direction, east to west, as a minimum. Yeah? So if you turn it 90 degrees, you're still restricting your kick. If you turn it 180 degrees, it's good. Any more than that, it's a lot better. Again, just a little bit of exercise in the basic styles that you can develop um, to help that maneuverability on your hip joint and understanding through.
also that hip movement. We were practicing on the push-ups and things in the morning, uh, in the morning, uh, earlier on, uh, twisting with our body, twist, control, and back. Okay, let's do some exercises. Okay, bring on the back. Okay, we're just going to do 30. Nice and simple. Double knee lift, right and left. Double, right and then left. So each set of three is one. So 10 in total for 30. Okay. So my count, one count, do all three. Okay, knee, inch, knee. And if you get done, grab a drink. Us. Okay, everybody okay? okay good. So, similar thing on the rotation again, so we'll be sort of focused around that. Uh, just a little bit of adaptation what we did on Saturday for those who were there. What we're trying to do here, we're going to rotate, heel off the floor, and what we need to do is stretch round and then up as a stretch only. Nice and simple, we're just going to do it three times to the left and three times to the right. Pivot round, Stretch through and pivot the torso. One. Stretch round. Pivot the torso. Two. Round. And three. The other side. Knee. Sack. And one more. Sheep. Okay, so hopefully, I'm just going to try and keep loosening up each time we've been doing it. Right. Okay, working on a bit of the punches from what we were doing in the basic stances before. I think anybody was there when we were doing stepping across. This time, in, in camera dash, so we've got left leg forward. All we want to do here, so you can see me on the side, I really want you to extend, extend that gap of ski. You know, so your shoulders are going beyond the 45. Okay, so from here, I'm side on, that has gone 90 degrees, that's gone over to the side, so from there. Extend that out, heels back on the floor, okay? As you pull back, get on what you're getting, and in. It has to be as you're pulling back, okay? So it's not one, two, it's one, two. So you're pulling back and kicking at the same time, okay? So again, here, think about your body twisting one way, reaching very far, and then twisting the other way, reaching very far. Okay? Try not to restrict yourself to have a nice flashy kick. All right, coming in going down like this, nice and quick. Long, long. And back in. Try not to fall back. Okay? See the difference? So let's go. Right hand kicking, right, uh, right hand punching first. So we go. Itch. And long. Back to stance. Knee. Long. Nice long. Sun. Long. Sheep. Long. Go. Long. Do ten. Run. Sheep. Pack. Cut. Run. Okay, change over, other side. Couple of slow, nice and long. As you pull back, sit. Long, as you pull back, sit. 
So hopefully people aren't leaning back too much on that kick. So you've reached forward, you've kicked. You've still got one degree forward. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. Itch. <coughs> Knee. <coughs> Sun. <coughs> she. Go. Up. Shish. Hatch. Cut. Good. Okay, let's go to push ups. Work on the fisting again. So this time, exercise is to do 10. Push up. Twist. Far back now, not just to the vertical, far back as you can go. Okay, so your feet will turn to sideways to spine. What we want to do is try to get that extra stretch and control. If you let it go too far, you'll cause yourself damage. So please be careful. Just try and keep all this nice and tight. Just doing 10, so I'll turn it side. Okay, hey, itch. Me, Sam, she, go, rock, shish, hat, ka, shu, and get a quick drink. Okay. So I'm there, I'm going to start off now in Kukustadashi. Left leg forward. Okay. So this time what I want to do, sorry, we we'll start off in Furudashi. What we're going to do is shoot forward left leg on my count. So we've got each. So rather than going back into Kukustu, well we normally go forward anyway, so from here, shoot forward, nice stance. From there, I want to do Gyaku ski. So from here, in the position, Gyaku ski. Okay, from here, front leg. Chuda Maigiri, back leg Hisagiri, and then I want to finish off with Uchiyuki and Gyaku Ski. Okay, so positions here from Budalashi. There you go. Itch, knee, stand. Sorry, did I say Hisagiri Maigiri? I can't remember, sorry. Um, so Hisagiri, Shi, Uchiyuki, Go, Gyaku Ski, and uh, back in position. Okay, so it's count of five so from there. In one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. So again, be mindful that you, when you're in Kukusadachi, not rocking back and forward between these kicks. So Kukusadachi, you're in there. 60, 40. From here, up. Nice. Nice, my carry up, not lean back. From here, stand. He's up. Back punch. Okay, ready. Any questions? You're all okay? Good. So, from food is actually. Okay, so you This year, first count. What's actually the punch? Itch. Knee. Done. She. Go. That's it. So, I'm just going to count. Itch, knee, sand, she. Go. And we'll just do one. Okay, ready? Let's go. Itch, mid, sun, she, go. And itch, mid, sun, she, go. And in position. Itch, mid, sun, she, go. Itch, mid, sun. She, go. And last one. 
Sort of the adaptation of doing it in a long stance, you can still do it in a short stance, but think about your torso moving between the Gyakuski, the Uchiyuki, the Maigari, the Hizagari that you drive forward as well. Okay, okay, from position here, right, and go back. H, N, S, S, G, O, and H, N, S, G, O. H, N, S, S, G, O. H, N, S, S, G, O. Last one. H, N, S, S, G, O. And all right. So we're now going to do a camera, something similar to what we've just done. So from there, so I'm in your position here. It's a camera, long gap ski, yeah? Make sure it's nice and long, not just, not long if you think that's long. Long as you, like a, like a Wuko type or clicker type gap ski. Okay, but it's still, think about a knockdown style. You want to drive it, drive it nice and long. Aim for the pit of that stomach. So you're punching sort of down into the into your opponent. Nice and down. And as you're pulling back, my Gary, he's a Gary. Okay? So again, so from here, punch down. My Gary nice and short. Remember, you've hit the person here, so my target is there. I'm not then going to do a long my Gary. Target in, up, dink, nice jab my Gary. And from here, rather than coming straight through the he's up, Washi he's in it. So you come round and then in. Like in a, like in a um, uh, Mwashi go chew socket, comes round and in, or doing the he's over coming round and then dinking it in. Because you've done this short, we don't want to do this with your knees. So short here, and you then kick, you both bend your hips to try and get more momentum, and then you're digging in with a knee. Okay, everybody good? Us. Okay, so we're left leg forward. On my count, all three, we're going in long, deep, easy, get it in. Okay, ready. Ten times on the right, ten times on the left. Ready. Go. Itch. Knee. Down. Go. Try to keep that rotation there, rotating back, rotating in. Okay, the reason why we're going along this side is as you're pulling back, you might carry your pelvis and your shoulders in the other direction, opens you up automatically. If you keep everything stable, you're going to have no uh, build up to your technique. So from here, there's no build up. Build up in, one and kick through. Okay, had a little bit of rest, let's go. Ready? Left leg, punch, left hand punch it, so. Eight. Knee. Seven. 
Alternate it. So you can go back for a lunge, stretch out that glute. Then we're going to go forward. But forward is like reaching forward and then sinking down. Try not to reach forward and lean back. I'm trying to do here. So reverse leg comes down and then you squat it. So it's just forward and then you squat it. So it just helps stretching out, strengthening the glutes in a different way. Okay, so every other count will switch. So back, forward, back, forward. You go six times on the one side, six times on the other side. It's a problem. Okay, ready? Go right leg back first. Pitch, forward, knee, back, sun, forward, she, go, and forward, run. Uh, left leg, back, inch, up to the front, knee, sun, front, she, back, go, and to the front, rook. Okay, shake some loose, grab a drink. Oh, it's warm today. I'm wearing a hoodie. Right? Okay, are we ready? So, what are we going to try and do here? This time we're going to go forward into Zenko Sadachi. Forward into Zenko Sadachi. Okay. And from this time position here, you're going to take the right leg back, turning as you would do normally with Zenko Sadachi. This is one full turn. Next thing there, you want to come across Kibarachi. Okay. And then step through Kakidachi. Okay. Kibarachi, Zenko Sadachi, and then front leg turns Zenko Sadachi. Basically, you're reversing each way. Okay, so from there, so from here, just do the stances for now. Moving forward in Zenko Sadachi, turning up and out like you're doing in Pinan San, and then from there, check it out. And make sure you drive through and you're using that foot as a break. You're not just placing that foot into a position, you're driving, you know, your glutes should be a little bit warm up now, so you're going to fire that straight across. Try not to overextend your hips. You, know, you should be able to stretch yourself quite, quite nicely now into a nice uh, Zurasadachi. And from there, we come back into Kiva, go back to Zenkotsu, and then front leg turn back in. Okay, everybody got the stance movements? Okay, so from there, moving forward, Zenkotsu, Jakuski, pitch, turn, Jakuski, knee, up, out, Kapiski. So I'm punching right hand, hook. Okay, so that position. Let's go. Happy, happy. Nice and easy. Strapping. As you come to Kappa, so as you come across, you've done the Kapi ski, come through, and I'm off screen. Still up in there. Okay. And we come back, opposite Kapi, stepping back, Kapi ski. And then we turn the front leg, the yeah, and feet. Okay, hopefully we can get it. The only difference is the cake. First cake is the right, you come through, second cake is the left, and then you go left, the yeah, right, yeah, okay? So they are obviously alternate alternates. 
So again, think about that strength on, on your hips and your stance to move forward, moving around. Okay, let's go from there, moving forward, left leg, get from ski, length of session. Itch. Uh, knee for the turn. Knee. Sun out. Nice, low heaver. She. Correct. Go. Kake. Ruck. Gyaku. Shish. And Gyaku. And up. Okay. Readjust. You have to, depending on how much space you've got, you can keep going, but uh, I don't have much space. So. Everybody got the, got the um, sequence? Oh, okay, let's go. On there. On one count, one movement. So, itch. Nice, long. Knee. Long. Sun. She. Go. Rook. She. And up. Okay, step back. And it's straight into it. Itch. Knee. Sun. Sheesh. Go. Rock. Sheesh. And up. Get back. Two more times, three more times. It's a fun time. Ready? Edge. Nice and long. Knee. Sun. Sheesh. Go. Rock. And sheesh. And up. Now position, ready on one. Let's go. Itch. Knee. Sun. Sheep. Go. Rock. Sheesh. Now hatch. Up. And that's side on the right. Let's go. Let's go. Itch. Knee. Sun. She. Sorry. Go. Rock. Sheesh. And up. Shake yourselves loose. You're on the other side. Hopefully, hopefully you're feeling sort of like your glutes and your sort of, uh, probably your lower back a little bit starting to work. Hopefully the twist in a lot is understanding actually quite a lot of the power comes from the rotation this way and, the, and your arm and your fist are sort of like the end tools. Okay, so let's bear that in mind we'll just do this last set. Okay, so from there right and it goes forward. Itch. Turn, knee. Right leg up and across. Sam, back here with the left. She. Back now from the left. Go. Right hand cafe. Ruck. Gyakuski. Right hand. Front leg turn. Shish. Ah, uh, Nore. Yeah, everybody good. Let's go all the way through. Follow it forward. Itch. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Ruck. Shish. Up, ready, let's go. Itch, knee, sun, she, go, rock, shish, up, and forward. Itch, knee, sun, she, go, rock, and shish, up. Two times for hitch, knee, sun, sheep, go, rock, shish, and up. And last time, hitch, knee, sun, sheep, go, rock, and shish. Up you get, Lari. Shake yourselves loose. Grab a quick drink.
try and get that sort of similar analogy of movement into sort of a fighting <coughs> sort of footwork position. So think about what we did, we move forward into Yekusu, and then we turn, so two punches. Okay, so what we want to do there from in your left leg forward, you go Pyakuski. And then we go in straight in with Oiski, so Pyaku Oi. Okay, so now what we did in the basics, we moved up and across. Okay, from here we've got Pyaku Oi. From here we're going to come across to the 45 and strike in Tatis E Staski. Staski punch or vertical with your hand. Okay, and then from there we went into a Attack that, so obviously we're not going to do that fighting because you'll probably get sweat. Or if you've got the agility, you'll come across and ensure it very. But for now, we're just going to get the movement in. So you've got the Yaku Oi is twisted in. So you're in luck to keep it at you, but you're fighting on corner. We're going to come back and we're going to come over the punch. Okay? So what the idea here is you've, you've gone Yaku Oi, you've come across and you've punched in over at the same time pulling your leg back. See that? So this drive here, that stop position, is that stop position over there, okay? So without that purchase on the ground, this punch is gonna be weak. I'm not saying it's not gonna be effective at all, it's gonna be a lot weaker. But if you ground and, well, not ground and power, but if you ground your foot and hit over the top, it will have that jerk reaction to your opponent. Okay, so what we want to do here, Yaku Oi, step across in and out the way as you're punching. So if you have an appointment opponent, bang, bang, you've punched in there, they think you moved out the way, but as you're moving in, you've then stopped them dead. Okay, everybody understand? Yep. Us, good stuff. Looks back to I quite like. Okay, so left leg forward. Okay, one count all the way through. So get your point across and over. Really, itch. Knee. Sun. She. Door. Run. Sheesh. Okay, right leg forward. Gyaku, oi, across, and then it. Ready. Okay, itch. Hey. Sun. She. Go. Run. She. Ha. Good. And all right. Before we get the techniques, just things about pulling the leg back means a lot of different things. Primarily, it means potentially getting out of the way of a low kick. Because even if you're close and they can take that step ski, they can come still chop away at that back leg. So we come in one, two, hit there. That's still a big open target. Inside leg, it's going to be very painful. The idea, as you're moving out of the way, you're catching them at the same time. Think of that analogy as well. But again, it's got to be quick enough to get out of the way, but strong enough to uh, you know, get perched on the ground to make an effective punch. Okay, and things. Try not to wobble about like this. Try to twist like this. So at the beginning of the session, where we would try to keep that momentum like that. If you have a one degree side forward, you're still twisting on that line here. You're not twisting like such. I hope that makes sense. Okay, good. Exercises to finish off with. Right, so what we're going to do, we're only going to go up to five push ups. What I want 
There's a nice finish to the kill up. Squat down into a deep squat, hands on the floor. Out, one push up, out, up. Next time you go out, two push ups, back up. Three, back up. Four, back up. Five, back up. Back down, four, three, two, one. Okay, finish nice and strong. Any questions? So you go one, two, three, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, ready? Right, each knee, sun, she, go, rock. Sun. Knee. H. And up the air. Now shake yourselves loose. Grab a drink. Arm up. Just trying to loosen up now. We've done the arm movements, hip movements. We're just trying to loosen up here. So it's just nice big circles. And tight. Okay, so this time. Let's get some circles with your hips and your knees. Okay, so normally we just like this. This time, try to get your knees moving as well. So you lose your work in the hip joints and your knee joints and your ankles. And tight. Okay, so from there, what we need to do, twist around again, and then reach forward in the opposite direction. So twist on the vertical, reach forward, okay? Just pull down, three, and four. Opposite side, twist to the right, reach to the left. Okay, work on our hips as well. What you're trying to do is come forward at 45 degrees to a very, very long stance, just like in the position, second position in the four in one. Just stretch forward to the 45 degrees. Keep your foot flat on the floor. Then onto the heel, uh, toes, sorry, the bottom of the foot. Back onto Side of the foot, try to get a little bit more deeper. And one more on the ball of the foot. And up, go to the right hand side or your left or opposite side to come through. Just forward. Ball of the foot. Side again. Forward and four. And up. Okay, grab your leg. Try to get your stretch your quad out. Try to get the heel to touch your bum. You need something to hold on to balance, that's fine. Hold back, make sure you are stretching the front of the body. Side, try to keep your shin parallel to the floor. Okay, 
add to the front. Loose. Left leg, pull behind. Try to point your knee down as well, and then if you're not finding the stretch, push your hips forward. Out to the side, and try to get anything parallel on your shin. Again, you need to turn your standing foot to allow this to happen. If you don't, it'll be very difficult to get your leg up. Out to the front. And uh, shake your arms loose. Rotate forward. And back. Ah, good, actually. Us, thank you very much. Us, um, hope you enjoyed the session today. Thank you for coming along. Um, hopefully your uh, hips and stuff won't be too sore tomorrow. I know mine probably will. But, um, but uh, yeah, thank you very much uh, for coming in. Thanks, Us, Sensei. Us, thank okay. you. Thanks, Sensei. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Great footwork, I loved it. Thank good. you. So Thank hopefully you. we can take something away from it. Just think about just extending all your stances. You know, it, it helps because when it gets into doing short stuff, it helps massively if you're strong in a long position. So, you know, so hopefully we'll get some exercises and then you can take something away. So, uh, yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. All right, us. Good night, everybody. Good night. All right, see you see you during the week. Bye, bye, bye. bye. Advice about learn about sexting, advice from child line, internet safety. I need child line. <coughs> My parents abuse me. Chris Davis, are you still online? Hello, how are you? Not bad, mate, how are you? I'm alright, just, uh, have you finished? Yeah, yeah. Ah, I've just literally joined. Jan said, oh, Holly was supposed to be training inside, should we spy on her? Spy on her. Oh, she literally just logged off. How oh, is she? How oh, is she? Yeah. How did your session go? Yeah, it, it went well. Yeah, nice, uh, nice number of people. Um,